How can you emotion coach a child when you are supporting a group of children? I think it's always going to be harder when you're when you're in a whole group um, of looking after lots of children to um, to do emotion coaching. But I'd say it's even more important because we all of those the mirror neurons in our brain they learn by experiencing and seeing so all of those children who are witnessing you being empathic and compassionate are also learning those skills when they see it so there's something really important about being able to show emotion coaching to a whole group of children so we are a very very busy school we um have very busy classrooms lots of groups um we do a lot though of small group times so we make a big deal out of having our daily circle times where we divide up into smaller groups to really focus in on those feelings. We have a huge priority of asking every single child at every single day, at three times a day, how they're feeling and acknowledging why they've got that feeling. And actually what we found is they love to share. They love to let their friends know why they're fe how they're feeling and why they're feeling that way. In our group times, if you know, in, when we're doing that, if we notice that a child is, you know, they're not quite sure how they're feeling, then we will acknowledge that in the group time and then focus in on that afterwards, just checking in with that child one on one. Well, you already do it every single day. I mean, when you have a group activity and you've got five or six children, there's bound to be a, per a moment in time in that activity that you talk to every single child individually, and that's that time. But also, when you start to teach children to become self-regulated and co-regulated, they will start to support each other on that journey as well. Group, it's really works so well because the children are observing each other, they're understanding how each other are feeling, they're actually then gaining tools for themselves about why is that child feeling that way? Then how can we make them feel better? We've had some really lovely cases where we do circle time. A child says they're feeling sad, you know, they tell us why, and quite often it's, you know, because mummy dropped me at nursery and she's gone to work, and then we then finish our circle time and then we'll observe the children trying to make that child feel happier. If it's just yourself and there's a one to yay, then you can slowly take yourself to a side with them and slowly manage them within their little steps. Also using various different tools that the kid already previously knows. If you get them out while still managing the class, the kid can then start to see it slowly that, that you are helping them as well as not being with them 24 seven. And I think that really helps the child understand and break down that they, they are being supported. And then once you've started your class and settled them, you can then take that child aside and deal with the rest of the issue. If I was in a teaching a class situation, and I could see that a child was starting to become, um, well, simmering over type thing, I would then either employ another member of staff to emotion coach them, or I would walk over to them, kneel down by the desk and ask how I can help you and then take it from there.